Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool washer top panel lock. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceFartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new top panel lock. The top panel lock is what holds the top to the cabinet. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's lost or damaged and the top is loose. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the top of the machine. So the first thing we're going to do is put a piece of tape on the lid so when we lift it up, it doesn't open up. Make sure you use a good piece of tape so the lid doesn't spring up when you lift up the top. Now that we have the lid taped down, we have to release the locks that hold the top to the cabinet. They're located about six inches in from each corner. We're going to slide the putty knife in and you'll feel it spring against the lock. Once you have the lock pushed in, you can twist the putty knife to release it and you have to lift up on the top and separate it. You got to be careful so it doesn't snap back down. Once you have one side up, we can come do the other side. Once you have them both released, and carefully lift the top up. Once you have the top up all the way, we're going to support it with a lanyard. These hinges aren't very strong and you don't want to use those to try to support the whole top assembly. So we're going to use a lanyard and just hook it into the top and then onto the cabinet. Once you have it supported, we can change the part. Here's the two top panel locks. They're both changed out the same way. We're going to take a big pliers and compress it. And we're going to unhook the back first and then rotate it forward to pull it off the machine. Once you have it off, you can pull it out of the washer. Here's the old top panel lock next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you put the new top panel lock in, you want to make sure that the straight side is towards the back and you can compress it with your pliers. And same as when we took it off, we're going to hook the front in first and rotate it over and snap the back in. To put the top back down, we have to take the lanyard off first. We're going to lift up on the top a little bit to take the tension off. Then we can unhook the lanyard on the top and the bottom. Then we can Carefully lower the top down. As you lower it down, you want to make sure that these holes right here line up on the bolts as you lower it down. Once you have the top down and the holes lined up with the bolts, you can push it down to lock it in place. Once you have the top down and secure, we can take the tape off the lid. Once you have the tape off, you can plug the washer back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.